Hey, welcome back to the Minneapolis Northwestern N-Scale Model Railroad, uh, the monthly video journal. I'm a little uh, late this month. I was out of, out of the country earlier uh, this month. Uh, took a nice uh, trip out of the country. And now I'm back in town trying to figure out uh, where, to, where to go next. So, uh, but I have installed uh, some work underneath the layout here. I'm trying to get the lower deck done so I can work on the upper deck get that done and the uh, Union Station project which is going to go on the upper deck over there when I uh, get to get ready for that so i um, trying to set that project aside long enough to get work done on the lower deck which has been a promise I've been trying to keep for about what five years now <laughs> so um, but uh, it doesn't look like much has changed on the surface but I did some work uh, underneath the table uh, and I installed some uh, uh, new control feature for all the Pico turnouts I have on the track. They're all along the, uh, the outer edge of the track where I can't reach very easily. Otherwise I've got little ground throws that are very conveniently in front of the uh, layout here. But the switches I can't reach are controlled by uh, Pico turnouts. And for a while I was using these switches off my control panel but they didn't uh, work very well because I, I had trouble remembering which turnouts I was throwing and it was hard to figure it out. So I installed a, a little Arduino project, I'll show that to you in a little bit, uh, that uses relays and a little remote control. And I can punch uh, one little, hear them popping around on the layout there. They're a little, uh, need a little adjusting yet, they're, they're not quite uh, figured out yet. I got, I got a few connections I didn't get quite right. But just by pressing one button on the uh, remote, you can hear them pop around the layout there and it's setting different routes throughout the layout. And I have one on here that I can just test them all and you can hear them all popping all over the layout here. So there's 12 of them and, and, and they have uh, and they Okay, they're done. Um, that's just a, uh, a test program I've got for testing all of them. So uh, I'll show you what the board looked like. Um, I'm not going to show you underneath the board because it's kind of a mess. But uh, the relay board uh, went together pretty well. Uh, it uses uh, a set of eight uh, relays. No, uh, excuse me, uh, 12 relays. Excuse me, 12, 12 relays uh, in a pair. So there's actually 24 relays, one relay to snap. Uh, the switch one way and one relay to snap the switch the other way and it works pretty slick so uh, once I get this worked out uh, all I gotta do is just hit uh, one button and I can set my routes for the main line or the uh, other parts of the track and hear them popping when I hit the switch so that's been my major project uh, this month and the time I've had um, just to try to get some of the work done on this part of the layout before I start working on this part of the layout. So that's where we're at today. Okay, welcome to the uh, messy workbench again. To see my latest gadget, you can see here I've got an Arduino Mega board operating. Uh, a series of relays that are going to be used to operate the 12 Pico turnout machines I have on my layout. And this is just kind of a brief uh, demonstration of how the setup is so far. Um, I've got some ribbon cables connected to the Arduino board. I've also got a few little uh, real small uh, breadboards that made it a lot easier to make connections rather than trying to solder together a bunch of wires so it just kind of made it a lot easier to make my connections work. Now the uh, nice part about all this is that it works with an infrared sensor and a uh, little remote. So uh, the idea is that by choosing one of these numbers I can set a number of turnouts and thereby getting the right uh, route set through the layout. So uh, this works pretty slick. I'll turn it on and demonstrate for you. There's power 
And if I say select route one, the relays will fire in sequence here to set all the correct routes. Oops, let me get to the number for you. I also have a one key on here that will just run through the whole test. Here we'll just test all of them for me and that might be a good way to see the relays are firing here. That's just one thing, one little synth a piece I added to the uh, program was just to fire these off and test each one. So a uh, little infrared sensor here that I will mount uh, in a some open location on the uh, layout. And you can see when I press the button on the remote, the uh, infrared will respond. And depending on which button I push, I get uh, anywhere from one to four turnouts that will fire. Not all at once. I kind of designed it this way that they'd set go off uh, one at a time, um, just so that I get enough power to fire each um, switch machine. So uh, this works pretty slick. It's a nice way for me to get my uh, turnouts operating and I don't have to try to figure out which one to throw to get a particular route. So this works pretty slick. And I've got to get it uh, connected now. The next step is to connect all of these relays to their respective turnout motors. So that's going to be a bit of a confusing job. But it's uh, once I get this working, uh, I think it's going to be very, uh, very helpful on the layout. Because I just don't use my remote turnouts very much because I have a hard time working with them the way they are set up currently so this will be installed on the layout soon and the next step will be to connect all the turnout motors to the relays Well, I said I wouldn't show you the underside of the table, but I think I owe it to you to see what it looks like for now, but get ready. It's scary. It's messy. Here we go. <laughs> okay, here's our underside of the table. And as you can see, I've got a lot of cleanup to do on this project, but this is where we're at. All these wires are coming in from the turnouts. There's one pair of relays for each turnout. The one will pop the turnout to the left and one will pop it to the right or vice versa, however I need to figure it out. So that's what it looks like under the table right now. And I've got a little cleanup yet to do. I've got, I want to clean up these wires. These are power coming in from a power pack to, to supply power to the turnouts. It's uh, the 16 volt AC current. Um, it's one common wire. You can see this wire going through here. That's the common wire and it all, it's a common wire all going to the common post on each relay. And I've got the uh, individual turnouts wired just on one terminal here. So you got three terminals here on each relay and I've got it wired to just one terminal is all that's necessary here. So, uh, but I'm going to review this a little bit. Um, the code is, uh, needs a little adjusting in the, uh, uh, the mega board here. So I've got a little tweaking and tuning to do on this before I call it uh, complete and successfully installed. But for now, uh, that's where it's at. I know, it's a mess. I know, I know, I know. I'll get it cleaned up here. So I'm a messy modeler. So that's what it looks like underneath the board right now. 
Okay, well. <laughs> oh, there. Uh, uh, I hope you don't have too many scary things under your layout. Uh, so, um, that's where we're at for now. We're trying to get stuff uh, tidied up on the layout. So, uh, well, thank you for coming by and a uh, uh, little sh uh, brief uh, video today. It's not uh, real long, but uh, getting kind of late in the month and I just want to get my video out to everybody. So again, thanks for coming. Thanks for staying. Thanks for watching and uh, happy modeling to everyone. And again, thanks to all the uh, support from all the viewers and subscribers. I surely do appreciate it. So take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. And speaking of viewers and subscribers, I've got a little section on my page to uh, give a little nod to some of the other modelers out there who uh, often contribute some kind comments and notes. So give their channel a peek. If you don't see your channel up here, let me know and I'll include it with the rest of them. Thanks for stopping. Thanks for staying. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.